President Trump went into a meeting the other day with the Democrats, hoping to strike a deal in order to put the border wall up. But he walked in and they sat and, and uh, they started the conversation. And the president asked Nancy Pelosi and the Democrats, well, are you willing to come up with some, and I'm paraphrasing, I don't have the exact quotes. Are you willing to come up with some type of deal to put a wall up? And, they, and Nancy Pelosi allegedly said no. And the president got up and walked out of the meeting. Amazing. I have with me on the phone Enrique Maronis. He is founder and director of Border Angels, a human rights organization based in San Diego, California. And I wanted to talk to Enrico Enriquez about the water, I mean, the border situation. Enrique, Enrique, thank you for coming on. I appreciate it. Sure. Good morning. Good morning. Happy New Year to you. Likewise. Your bio, thank you. Your bio says you are a proud American and even a prouder Mexican. What do you mean by that? Well, I'm Mexican. I was uh, you know, born in San Diego. My, my parents were born in Mexico, brother and sister. And when Mexico passed this dual nationality uh, uh, bill, I was the first person to receive dual nationality. So I'm very proud of being Mexican, and I'm very proud of being a person of the world. And as you know, Mexico is part of America. So, yeah, so I'm uh, very proud of that. And um, are you an American citizen now? I am. I, I, I was born in San Diego, so I'm an Amer American citizen. And so if you were born here, you no longer um, are m m proud Mexican-American. Why don't you just identify as an American, 100%. Because, it, well, Mexico is part of America. It's not part it, of it, America. Me Mexico is part of America. America, of course, is, is uh, North and South America. But in, in reference to what you're, I believe you're asking, uh, because I believe uh, that everybody has the right to identify however they want to identify. Well, if you want to identify as a proud, you know, whatever that might be, that's up to you. It's not up to me to, to label you. It's up to me to, to you know, call myself what I want to call myself. But you Is that the purpose of the interview? Uh, no. Identity politics? No, we're moving on. But I want to say that uh, Mexico is part of the continent, but not the country America, just in case you don't understand well, America's that. America's not a country. You, you refer to the United States of America, of course, because America's not a country. America, the United States of America is a country. Correct. And so Mexico is not a part of us. I, not I, part of the United States of America, correct. It's part of it, but it is America. But you're not allowed to live in our country as a citizen and be a Mexican, too. A Mexican-American. Oh, of course you are. That's, no. That's ridiculous. You're either that's one or the other. You're living in the United States are from a lot of different countries. You're either one or the other. You can't be both. Uh, otherwise, the country would be split. And we don't need a no, split you, you country. Could be, you could be both. We, you we could need be a, three. There's lots we of need people a that have no, you can't. in several countries. I know, but that's wrong. I want to... That's wrong according to you. What? That's wrong according to you. That's fine. That's what you believe. Okay. Border angels help Mexicans and others invade our country. Why not fix their country instead of helping them to invade our country? There's no invasion. There's no invasion. The only invasion I know of was in 1846 when the United States invaded Mexico and took half the territory. But there's no invasion going on right now. Are you aware that there are illegal aliens trying to force their way illegally into our country every day? No, because there's no such thing as an illegal alien. If you're talking about people that are undocumented, like the 250 million undocumented people in the world today, 239 million and li living in countries illegal aliens. other than the United States of America. Then, then yeah, there's, it's all over the world. Most don't want to come to the United States. Most do not come to the United States. And the ones that are looking to escape poverty or, or, uh, or violence and so forth would like to get visas. They cannot get visas in, in most cases. But they are not. Why not they fish the their country? Why not fish their country rather than try to force their way into our country with the same old lack of morality, lack of standards that they bring to our country? Why not do something about their own country? Well, because most people don't come to this country or do leave the, the countries of origin. They stay there. 
just like the United States has a lot of immoralities, and most people don't leave the United States. They stay here. Well, we but there's a million Ameri- United States of American citizens living in Mexico, for example, and they're welcome. Illegal aliens are affecting— Once again, there's no such thing as illegal aliens. If you're going to use hate language like that, I'd rather not be on the show because we're a humanitarian group, and we'd like to treat people with dignity and respect. If you refuse to do that, you should be talking to somebody else. Illegal aliens— um so you are going to use that type of hate language. I don't use that type of language. It's not you know, hate I, I thought language. This would be more of a serious show, but maybe it, it, it is like serious. It's not. Or, it's not hate language. It's true language. Why no, do you hate the truth so much? Why do you hate the truth so much? It's hate language when you don't tell the truth. Uh, That's right. Not, you got Trump. But, there's a bigger purveyor of lies but, than anybody than Donald Trump. But he's not lying. He's telling the truth. He's putting out a country oh, first. This, this but I want to. This is a serious show. I want to ask you. I want to ask you this. This is a comedy. No, answer that question. This is a comedy show. I want to ask you this. These no, people. No, I, want, I want you to answer. Is this a comedy show? You can laugh if you want. That's up to you. But I want to no, ask. People died at the border. Children. Trump lying. They should. the world. Taking the country down. I want to ask you That's this. That's not something to laugh about. Let me ask you this. These people are affecting black Americans first and foremost because they're landing in the urban areas and places like Compton and other areas, South Central L.A., East L.A., and they are running black people out of their own areas. They are attacking blacks. They are uh, taking over the education system, health care, and, and bringing drugs and crime and adding to what's already there. Do you care that they are affecting black, these illegal aliens are affecting black people first and foremost in a negative way? Do you care about that? There's, what's an illegal alien? There's no such thing. Do you care about that? That these people coming you care from about a fantasy? A fantasy? Of course not. These but Mexicans, the are, these Mexican and people from Honduras and others. Do you care that they are affecting black people in a negative way, first and foremost? Are you talking about the black Mexicans or the black Hondurans? With a very I'm large talking about black people, people of black America heritage in those countries. I'm asking you: Do you care that they are taking jobs and affecting black Americans first and foremost? Does that bother you at all? No, because it's not taking place, and it's a very rare when an undocumented person takes a job from a documented person. You the s- latest wave of migrants to any country, they'll do the jobs that nobody else will do. That's not true. Just like what's happened That's in this not country. true. That's absolutely not true. So you said no. You said no, you don't care, right? I thought going to come on a serious show. If you're not going to talk about serious issues. These are serious issues. If you're not going to talk about facts, I really don't have time to waste with you. Enrique. We're very busy Enrique. on human rights issues. The, is, they I, don't, I have, I have to, I'm flying to Sacramento. We've got a lot of things going on here. And I don't have time to talk so about you say no. So you say no, you don't care that it affecting black Americans, illegal aliens no, are affecting that. black and Americans that. first and foremost. You're um, saying that. Um, what's wrong with Hondurans and Mexicans that they have such high murder rates in their countries? No, but there's, there's high murder rates in a lot of different countries. I'm asking countries. about these countries. What's wrong with them, Mexico and Honduran? that they have such high rate of murder going on and crime and stuff. What's wrong with those people? Well, the country, there's nothing wrong with the people. Most people in those countries don't want to leave those countries and don't leave those countries. But, like I said before, there's 250 million undocumented people from all over the world crossing borders, escaping violence, hunger, and so forth. That's not true. And that will continue. That will continue. But they need, according to the United But Nations. we should let them in our country. We don't want them here. They need to stay home and fix their own problems. Do you agree? You don't want them here, but the thing right. is that most people I do not do want them migration. in my country. It's, well, it's not your country. It's it the is. country of two, it's three, there's more than 300 million people in this country. But it is my it's country. All of those people's countries. So you're one of the people that has that point of view, but fortunately that's a, the, the point of view of very few people. No, that's Racism not, is, that's is, not is true. And, that's not true. have a very strong case of that. Most black people and most white people, Americans, do not want these people here. That's not true. Yes, it not is. Not according true. to surveys. Not according, I mean, maybe Fox News says that, but I mean, but serious journalism and They're, serious studies do no, not. No, I talk that. to them all the time. They don't want these illegal aliens here. I want to okay. ask: Are you, you for the, with the wrong crowd? Are you for the wall? No, I'm not, I, I agree with the most of the population on that. He also, not not for the wall. The wall doesn't stop people. It's led to the death of more than eleven thousand people. There's already a wall that covers a third of the U.S.-Mexican border. That, Trump hasn't added any wall. He's not going to add any wall. 
He will add wall. If we put the wall up, when the wall goes up, because it will happen, that's going to stop these people uh, from wanting to come here. Then they will have to die in the uh, trying to cross the border. But what is wrong with these people that they're willing to put their own lives at risk and break into our country and when we disagree with it, they call us names? What's wrong with these people? There's nothing wrong with it. This is called worldwide migration. People cross borders all the time. Illegally. They to have a better life, and they try to do it legally, but in most cases, there's not a legal way. So they risk their lives to protect their families. This has been going on since the beginning of time, and it will continue. Well, to we on. have to stop it now. migration is that the lowest rates has been in almost 50 years, and that's I, because a lot of these economies, like Mexico, for example, the economy is much stronger. There's more people leaving the United States from Mexico than coming. That's now the only because those the illegals are being America. forced back. I want to ask. They're I have a co- being forced back. They're coming on their. Own, they're going back on their own accord. No, it's not. They're being because forced. There's more work. There's more work in. Listen, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about you, but you obviously need to get some sort of an education. No, they are being forced. You're saying a lot of things that aren't true. No, no, no. I do this for I'm a t- living. I do this for a living. I speak all over but the country. But you're not an honest I man, think- though. You're helping them to break the law. How am I helping people to break the law? You are helping illegals by wow. encouraging them no to come illegal. across the board. Don't you give water I'm not to them? I'm not encouraging. Do you give water to them and assist them in legal aids or help, helping them to figure out how to break the law to come to our country? That's, that's not true. What do, you, you, do you give them water in the desert? Put water, you put water in the desert so that people around there don't die. It could be a but you should let them die out there. Lives, you should But you shouldn't give uh, water to illegal aliens. They're breaking the law. You're there helping them. With illegal aliens. We're putting water out there to save human lives because we're a faith-based organization. Obviously, you're not a faith-based person because no religion that I know practices racism and lies. No, and so there is forth. no such and thing as the racism. Problem. There's no the problem. First of all, there's no such thing as racism. I want to ask. There's no such thing as racism. Meet Donald Trump. There's a class. In Donald Trump, is, the great white hope is not a racist. That's just the a great lie. White hope. This is a comedy show. Hey, listen, I really got some serious I want to ask. So I know. Let me ask you one other question. Hey, he put his tail on Enrique. Enrique Moronis from San Diego, California, so-called founder and director of Border Angels, and they call themselves a human rights organization based in San Diego, California, was being interviewed by me. He became afraid, put his tail between his legs because he's helping illegal aliens. And he called himself a, an American, a proud American, but even prouder Mexican. If you're a proud, prouder Mexican, then you need to go back to Mexico. But he's a, a chicken, a coward. This song is for Enrique Morones. <laughs> this is for you. Enrique Morones. <laughs> Isn't that great? I feel better. <laughs> so if you see Enrique Morones running down the road, maybe near the Mexican border, ask him why did he run from Jesse Lee Peterson on the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show. The guy didn't want to be honest. He probably thought because I was black, that I'm going to be agreeing with wrongdoing like most black people do. But you got to get up early in the morning. <laughs>